the James Webb Telescope has essentially announced the clearest image of Proxima b in history, uncovering stunning discoveries concerning this potentially habitable exoplanet. Join us as we set out on an endeavor through space to uncover the mysteries of Proxima b and find out whether it might be the next Earth. We ought to take off into the vast expanse of space, where a perplexing planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't just any ordinary rock. It's Earth's cousin. Proxima b, located just 4.2 light-years from us, is shrouded in mystery and wonder. Could it someday be another Earth, with oceans and life spilling over on its surface? But wait, there's more. Proxima b isn't alone in its orbit around the red dwarf star. It has a lone companion, Proxima Centauri c, which may reveal even more secrets the star system holds. Perhaps there's another companion that we have yet to discover. The mystery doesn't end there. Proxima Centauri b receives nearly the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this really mean that there's water on its surface? Perhaps life, as we know it, could exist beyond our solar system. As we venture farther into space, we encounter an entirely new universe of exoplanets. Planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. With 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, the possibilities for exoplanets are endless. Some even wander through space untethered to any star, like rogue voyagers. Among them, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a truly surprising and perplexing planet, with a year lasting just 11.2 Earth days. Its distance from its star is many times closer than Earth is to the Sun, so likely one side of the planet is perpetually bathed in light while the other remains in perpetual darkness. Now, let's explore Proxima Centauri, the star around which Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. This system includes Alpha Centauri A and B, 2G and K-type stars that appear as one in the constellation Centaurus and are the third brightest stars in our night sky. Proxima Centauri, also called Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf or M-type star found 4.24 light-years from the other two stars, making it the closest star to our solar system. Proxima Centauri means the closest star of Centaurus in Latin. It was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn. Despite being the closest star to us, Proxima Centauri remains invisible to the naked eye due to its apparent magnitude of plus 11.13, far beyond the human eye's limit of 6.5. Don't let that fool you, though. Proxima Centauri is still a star worth studying. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient in terms of energy production. While they may not generate much light, the internal convection process at their cores keeps them shining for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another four trillion years. But the habitability of a red dwarf like Proxima Centauri is still debated. For one, it's a flare star, which means it undergoes frequent and unpredictable outbursts. As a low-mass star, its habitable zone would be much closer to it than the sun's, likely between 0.23 and 54 cents. However, it's not as hospitable as it may seem. Proxima b may not have a stable atmosphere, which is critical for maintaining conditions suitable for liquid water on its surface. Without this stability, life would be vulnerable to dangerous space weather making it nearly impossible for life to thrive. So, while Proxima b may seem Earth-like on the surface, it's far from being able to support life. Many remain skeptical due to the various factors that make it less than ideal. The mission to uncover the truth about Proxima b continues, with some still holding hope. One instrument that has caught the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Telescope. After several delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and will help determine if there is life on Proxima b. However, as with all things in science, things are never as clear as they seem. Numerous adjustments were necessary to ensure the James Webb Telescope could deliver accurate images. As Abby Bend, a theoretical physicist at Harvard, explains if a planet like Proxima b absorbs light from its star, it can also remit that light as infrared radiation. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect infrared light. It can capture images of this radiation on the planet's surface and search for patterns that could confirm whether the planet has water or an atmosphere. But what if the planet's atmosphere isn't suitable for life? 
The presence of an atmosphere does not guarantee the presence of life, warns Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick atmosphere many times denser than Earth's, resulting in extreme heat that would make life impossible. The mission to uncover the mysteries of Proxima b is not without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are many variables to consider. With costs mounting, space scientists are under pressure to figure out how to study planets like Proxima b. The risks are great, but the rewards are even greater. The opportunity for a brief glimpse into the unknown to uncover the secrets of a distant planet that could hold the promise of life is one that any serious scientist would take. Could we even travel to Proxima b? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it exciting. It's almost like exploring our astronomical backyard. What's even more intriguing is that it's nearly the same size as Earth. Its position in the habitable zone means it could potentially have conditions for life as we know it. Proxima b's proximity also makes it a viable target for our search for life beyond Earth. With it being just 4.2 light years away, it's an ideal candidate for interstellar missions. Imagine the possibility of exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. However, we can't go there just yet. It's certainly on the radar for future missions as technology advances, making it more accessible. It's one of the most intriguing possibilities in the field of space exploration. But it's no simple task to get there. It would take 75,000 years for spacecraft like the Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. However, a plan has been proposed involving solar sails, ultra-thin sails that could be used to accelerate a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system, and Proxima along with it. This technology uses solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating the problem of running out of fuel. With expected speeds of 10 to 20% of the speed of light, the journey to the Alpha Centauri system could be reduced to just 20 years. The discovery of Proxima b has reignited humanity's interest in space exploration. It has given us a newfound sense of hope that we are not alone in the universe. The James Webb Telescope is a marvel of modern technology, capable of taking us all the way back to the very beginning of the universe, 13.7 billion years ago. This is the carefully preserved secret. The farther an object is, the longer it takes for light to reach us. This means the James Webb Telescope can actually observe objects in the universe that are farther away than any other telescope before it. Furthermore, it can detect these objects in longer wavelengths of infrared light, allowing us to see more distant stars with greater clarity than ever before. And guess what's even cooler? This incredible technology can shed light on the possibility of life on other planets, like Proxima b. However, as with anything so groundbreaking, there are some limitations. The presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee the presence of life. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick, inhospitable atmosphere. But get this, the James Webb Telescope has the ability to detect such atmospheres if they reach a brightness of just 5% of the planet's day side. While 5% might not sound like much, it's actually significant when you're dealing with a star that is many times dimmer than our sun. If Proxima b has an intelligent civilization, they could be using bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side of the planet to the night side. How cool is that? There are countless exoplanets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes, with some being massive gas giants, while others resemble our own Earth. One type of exoplanet that has caught the attention of space experts is the gas giant. These planets are similar in composition to Jupiter and Saturn but are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been dubbed Super Jupiters, surpassing even the largest planet in our solar system. But that's not all. There are also hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit incredibly close to their host star. They exist in a scorching environment with temperatures high enough to melt metal. Imagine being able to observe such a planet up close, with its raging storms and intense heat. In addition to gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which are similar in size to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are hot Neptunes and mini-Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets are often shrouded in mystery, making their atmospheres difficult to study from afar. And let's not forget about terrestrial exoplanets those that resemble our own Earth. These planets come in various sizes, 
ranging from smaller than Earth to twice its size. There are also super-Earths which have masses greater than twice that of our planet but are lighter than Neptune. One of the most fascinating exoplanets discovered recently is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. This planet is classified as a super-Earth with a rocky mass of seven Earth masses. Despite being close to its host star, it is still too far away to be considered within the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b isn't alone. It has a companion, Proxima Centauri c, which orbits farther from the star. This planet has an orbital period of around five Earth years and was discovered in 2020 using pre-recovery Hubble data. Even more interesting about Proxima c is that it appears to be a very bright world, possibly due to the presence of a ring system. There are more discoveries to be made in the Proxima Centauri system. In 2019, astronomers detected a change in the star's spiral speed, which could be the result of another planetary companion. If confirmed, this planet would be known as Proxima Centauri d and would be roughly the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine a reality where the night sky is filled with stars, as well as countless other planets, each with its unique characteristics and orbits. The universe is full of surprises, and exoplanets are just one of them. With new discoveries being made constantly, it's an exciting time to be an astronomer. While we don't yet have a precise count of exoplanets, we do know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. However, exoplanets are not easily detectable. It takes advanced technology and powerful telescopes to spot them. These planets are often obscured by the glare of their host stars, making them challenging to study. But with advancements in technology, direct imaging of exoplanets is now possible. For an exoplanet to be directly imaged, it needs to be large enough to be visible by the telescope, far enough from its host star to avoid being hidden by its glare, and young enough to be hot and visible from Earth. These requirements limit the number of exoplanets that can currently be directly imaged, but they offer a fascinating glimpse into the properties and composition of these distant worlds. Exoplanets are typically discovered through the effects they have on their host stars. The gravitational influence of an exoplanet can cause its host star to wobble, and this change in the star's motion can be detected by astronomers. The Kepler Space Telescope used the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star's light when an exoplanet passes in front of it. This method has provided a wealth of data about exoplanets, including their size, distance, and temperature. Here are a couple of fun facts. Did you know that more than 22% of stars like the Sun have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones? Or that TRAPPIST-1 is home to seven rocky exoplanets with water on their surfaces? Exoplanets in our solar system can also have natural satellites known as exomoons. With more than 4,000 exoplanets discovered so far, we know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. Hot Jupiters, with their massive size and rapid rotation, are the easiest to detect. But there are countless other exoplanets waiting to be discovered. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is unlocking the secrets of the universe, one discovery at a time. The telescope has been gathering data and capturing stunning images of the universe revealing previously unknown wonders. Recently, it made a groundbreaking discovery that will forever change our understanding of the universe. But that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy capturing incredible images and collecting data about the universe. The stunning photos of stars, galaxies, and dust clouds swirling and crashing into each other are truly mesmerizing. And the discoveries continue to roll in. A global team of space researchers used the telescope to compile a detailed catalog of the coldest ice ever observed in a molecular cloud. They identified frozen forms of various molecules, including carbon disulfide, ammonia, and methane, as well as some relatively simple organic molecules like methanol and water.